Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. So this video is going to be an art supplies haul. We will be unpacking and testing really interesting art supplies. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's bring out the contestants. So we're going to be starting with the smaller ones. This is a butterfly shaped paint palette and uh, honestly there's nothing to test or say about this. Like how can you test to see if it works? It's just a palette. Next up is a set of detailing brushes and I bought this for cheap from Amazon. But I'm so excited because I almost always use the same large brush even for details. My first observation was that the quality was pretty good though it was really cheap and I loved the bristles, they were really soft. One thing I would say though is the brush number 2 didn't have a fine and sharp tip like the rest. testing out these Stedler pigment liners. They're not part of the haul since they're not new, but this is my mom's and I want to see how they work. So from this, I understood that though the bigger brush can give you a finer line, you don't have much control. But this isn't the case with the smaller brushes, they give you so much of control. And this is the brand I bought from. I'll link all these products in the description down below. Okay, so this is a water brush pen and it's from America and it's actually a gift. But we all know Faber Castle in India is completely different. The products have a better quality there. So I'm super excited. By the way, a super unrelated note, I love the color. Now let's enjoy a compilation of videos of me trying to explain the steps. So now is where I observed that the pen fills only up to half of the barrel. I 
originally thought it was a mistake at first, but that's how it's supposed to work. And it seems little, but it actually holds a lot of water. When it's pressed, it doesn't gush out water, but instead it slowly releases it, so you don't really see the water coming out. Another cool thing is that it constantly keeps the brush wet, even when it's not pressed. Something I noticed later in the video was that the white bristles didn't pick up any color even with dark colored paints. That's so cool. This has got to be the most awaited product by both you and I. It's a gift from America obviously, but we're gonna be testing it along with the watercolor folios from Ahmedabad. It's actually really cool, it basically has pigment on paper and you could just pull out the color you want. It also comes with a note about the color which is so cute. So as you can see, you need to shake it well and pump it a few times before using. And since this was the first time, I was able to see the blue ink filling up the white nib. The first word I wrote wasn't the best of its performance, you'd see why later in the video. When I painted onto the masking liquid, it didn't smudge or scrub off, which I didn't really expect that was so cool. Using the watercolor folios was also very interesting. I loved the pigment. It was bright and vibrant. Just one touch was a lot. I also tested all the colors as you can see. Now it's time to scrub off dried masking liquid and it's really very satisfying. But as you can see, the first word I wrote, I didn't pump it well because I pumped it once before using it for the second word. And so the first word wasn't as clean as the rest. Up next we have this mixed media paper pad from Canson. It has 138LB paper and actually Canson is a popular brand among artist paper products. It has 40 sheets and I really love the quality and the outer cover, especially the little logo in the back. I'm just obsessed.
next stop oh i was so excited we have these gouache paints with 12 shades from rustro Two hours later. Then I did a swatch test. It was fun and satisfying. This one is again of 12 shades from Brustro, but these are acrylic ones. So again, I did a little swatch test. We've come to the end of the video so hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you in another one bye